We're here in the low country of South Carolina, Lady Island to be more accurate. It's actually just around the corner from Paris Island where the Marines go to boot camp. This place is basically a chain of island communities linked together by a bunch of bridges. We're parked at Tara and Mike's house for this week. Tara is Danielle's cousin, and they were kind enough to show us the true meaning of Southern hospitality. This has been our first few weeks on the road with our new bus, and after spending most of it in either a Walmart or Cracker Barrel parking lot, we need to sit still for a bit to catch up on some much needed bus work. Mostly putting up walls, hanging our propane correctly, and wiring in our solar, which is obviously the biggest one. Tara and Mike's Southern hospitality can also be showcased through the ridiculously good pizza nights. I feel a micro montage coming on. Did you bring the whole plant? Yeah, yeah I did. Yeah, in a bucket. And we're back. They also took time to show us around their turf, namely this brewery and their Halloween costume contest. After that, we head to Jacksonville, where we meet up with Tater, our old rig, but not before running into a little plumbing trouble. Hope you enjoy. Hey, yo. That's PLP, how can I explain it? We film it frame by frame it. P is for the parking and L is for the lot. The last P is for pirate. Parking lot pirates and we like to sleep around. Don't matter what the town, free parking and we're down. Lived on an RV and sold it for a bus. Flipping schoolies ain't easy, but well worth the fuss, cuz. So if you feel this session, come on and follow me. All we have is one question. You down with PLP? <laughs> you down with PLP? You down with PLP? Down with PLP. So Mike's got this really big yard project he's got going on his whole property. Yeah, so the whole backyard's got this whole thing going on too. And it just so happens to line up perfectly with Abe's passion, which is digging in dirt with dirt diggers and doing a really good job helping. In fact, We're very passionate. he normally wants to help me and today he said explicitly no, he's going to help you. Oh, it's going over. Yep. How many plants have you planted since you've bought this property? Um, I'd say close to 30, 40. 30 or 40? Yeah. And how many of those did you upcycle, like take from neighbors? Willingly, they knew about uh, it. Well, all the sagos are recycled from neighbors. Maybe. All of our palmettos, dwarf palmettos, we got those from friends. And your tools too, you do a lot of upcycling for your gardening tools. Has to, has to be done. Otherwise. It's an expensive world. So Mike and Abe are working on the dirt. Uh, Danny's in there taking care of Axel and doing the laundry. And I'm out here trying to get our bathroom walls in. So we hit the road without any bathroom walls and one bedroom wall. But we got them prepped up and we put them in the trailer. So tired of lugging them around. Nice day to do it. Let's get her done. Good time to talk about what our walls are actually. So they're T111, which is like an outdoor shed wall. And we sand them down with like 80 grit, 220 grit, and threw some indoor paint on them. We just like the like wide lines of them. And we're just going for like a beach shack in the bus and it just felt beach shacky to us. Bailey's, that's us. Whoa. Till death. Till death do us, Bob. So Actually, was, even after death, right? Babe, what that do you think about there. my progress on the walls today? Pretty good, right? Slow. It's slow because we got babies. Like, so here's our walls that I'm getting in here. I know there's a line right there. It's bothering me too. I'll paint it. You'll see less of it. Why are you making spikes? I don't know. I want a ball. You don't know? Are we making dinosaur uniforms today? Are we making dinosaur costumes today? Yeah. More spikes. More bite okay. More bite. Okay. More spikes. Okay. Okay. I have to swing Axel like this right now to keep him from crying. So we're going to a place called Shell Ring Brewery. It's like 20 minutes away. 
They're having like a Halloween contest, Halloween bazaar. Shell ring is actually a Native American ceremonial mound of eating shellfish that they used to come together as communities and eat and dance and probably have sex with each other. But yeah, the brewery is like named after that. We went and saw the actual shell ring in Hilton Head last spring on our way up to Maryland. And now we're going to the place where you drink beer about it. Mike, you made that today? That batch? <laughs> it's the details, man. That's how, that's how it's real. Nice Do you guys have the sour still? Yeah. I'll take yeah. one of those. Okay. Well, I left Chattanooga, boy, had a dollar and a dime. I hit it out from Nashville on the hard rock line. I'm working on that old steamboat and learned to ride and steam. When my feet had touched dry land. Now, are you and family? Are you together? Uh, <laughs> okay, we have Isaac as the Riddler. <laughs> Abe as a dinosaur. Okay. Have a buzz. What a good time at Shell Ring Brewery. They actually make really good beers and it's actually such a cool spot. That one boat that I was zooming in on, is called, I think it's a Harrison boat. It was like one of the boats they used in World War II for breaching. Can you show me your wings? We didn't win the costume contest, but I think we were crowd favorite. Hey, one more time, give me the wings. Wow. You see the fear in my eyes? So, um, the whole time at Mike's I've just been slowly wiring in solar and we're at the point now where I'm gonna wire it in here. I'm gonna Are find you out in? Right in here. Crimping them or stripping them and then putting them in here. Feeling pretty excited about having our solar hooked up. Yeah! Am I worried about falling on this ladder while I film? No because it's a universal law that the cameraman never dies. Cool, so we got all of our solar panels finished up here on the roof. Um, let's talk about what our solar setup is real quick. So our solar setup is about an hour old. We've been on the road for almost two weeks without it, which is a testament to the key part of our solar system, our batteries. Dakota Lithium sponsored us and gave us like six grand worth of free lithium ion uh, for making like a sponsor me video on Instagram. So. That battery system has been scaled. We've scaled up the whole rest of the system to match the batteries. You never anticipated having this much solar juice, so it's awesome. So to match 600 amp hours of Dakota lithium battery, we've got 1,920 watts of Renogy solar panels up top and a crime baby. He was he threw flowers on Axel and he got reprimanded, but it's because he loves him and he feels bad. I, I assure you, he's fine. We are hitting the road today. We're just gonna find a free camping spot, and tomorrow we're gonna meet the family that we sold our RV to, um, hang out with them, eat some food, and also pick up the hitch that came with that RV to flat tow this Jeep. And yeah, we got like three or four days of just kind of bopping around till we have a show in Crystal River, which is on the western. You ready to hit the road, babe? She's ready to hit the road. It was hard getting out of there, but we're out of there. Danny's a rock star in terms of like people that can back you out of things. That's why I gotta get you a girl from the country. I like Cracker Barrel a little more than Walmart, uh, mostly because it's smaller. You wanna say hi? Going to eat mama's dinner, okay? Alright, buddy, can you sit where you want to sit? What'd you cook us tonight, mama? Chicken. Mm. Then cheesy zucchini. Uh huh. And rice. This is the American dream. What are we looking at? I 95. Mm, I don't want leftovers. Something we realized last night is that there's a leak coming from our gray water tank. 
So essentially I installed this like shower bypass valve where I can flip a lever and all the shower water gets diverted outside of the tank to like basically just the ground because it's legal to dump shower water and you know at the right spot it makes sense. It's not working. And now Abe and I are about to head to Lowe's which is like right there to pick up a ball valve I think it's called. Basically I'm gonna cap this off with something that later I can add so that it does work. Well, I don't exactly know where I should cut the hole, the box. Oh, no. oh, no. All right, hey, you gotta watch these, okay? Okay. All right, all right, coming back out. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's a saw. Thank you. Okay. So what's it, just not fitting? Yeah, the, the, this is, there's not enough space in the cargo hold for this to go in, so I need to cut this out. Dude, that ant saw me. Careful. I hate this ant. On the road, headed back to New Orleans Driving in the country, past old timey scenes I totally just forgot to cap it off or put anything there. It was just this empty pipe where half the shower water was running. So we're gonna give that a couple hours of cure. Look how dirty my family is. Come here. You poor dirty crackle barrel baby. Big birds were singing in the tall willow tree. Mighty fine. Now that the surprise plumbing issue is sorted, we set out just a few minutes down the road to meet our old rig, Taterbug, and of course, this wonderful family that now inhabits him. They made us dinner and Abe had a great time making friends with the kids. We weren't here just to catch up though. There was a tow arm we left on Tater that Rich and his family can't use since their car can't flat tow. So, of course, we were more than happy to take it off their hands. One step closer to being on board together again and not driving separate. Until that day though, we'll just be out here hopping around, trying to make a buck at these weekend art shows, and exploring all that Florida has to offer us this winter. See you next one.